yesterday's glass. Evening, no? Well, evening for some. Afternoon for us. Welcome to Whiskey Mystery. I'm Phil. I'm Diva. You know we taste them the day before, right? It's always amazing what's left in the glass from the day before. And this one is pure ashiness. <laughs> so we are in for a smoky but, one. But is that enough for me? It's never enough for you. <laughs> so what are we doing? We are blind tasting bottle number 126, picked by the group because there was no winner last week. And for the next 12 minutes, remember the timer, we are going to taste it, nose it, rank it on the shelf, and it could be a high one. Let's have a look at what we're going to get. Not that high ABV, I don't think. Well, pretty decent bubbles. Pretty decent. Should we go straight to the shake? Why not? Oh yeah, they are hanging in there. Okay, 46. Definitely higher than that, isn't it? 48. Oh, quite similar, quite similar. 50. Quite similar to 50. Oh, below, below, I think. Right? Seems like it. Good bubbles, good quality. Now. Deepa's got more again. <laughs> yesterday's glass. Yesterday's glass. It's a very dusty, ashy. Sweet peat. Yeah, there's something sweet underneath it. There's so a bit almost fruity peat. Well, it's almost like there's fruity honey residue along with the ashiness. Ash. It's a very dry ashiness, isn't it? Is <laughs> subtle? No, it's not enough. Yeah. Is this subtle? What about if you go full glass? See, that, that comes across more of like a fruity whiskey than peat though, doesn't it? So this is where I got confused. Let's try, um, let's try doing the empty glass. See, this is much more on the sort of oily pear nectarine type of notes. Oh my God, a dash of gamiga. A little bit, but the peat tends to do that. So what level of peat are we talking? Medium. But you know, we often get that wrong. Kilhoman? Kilhoman it's levels? It's soft. It's back to the centre. Well, maybe it's old. Could be old. That would be... I'm Quite getting strong. Of food, nectar, and this. Yes. Oh, I'm getting a cheese, brine. Cheese, brine, <laughs> briny cheese. I call I'm this. Not I call this one peat massage because it's, it is this kind of soft integrated. A little bit of cereal, but it's more on the lighter fruit, not heavy sherry, isn't it? And uh, nectarine. Yeah, nectarine pear kind of. It's of uh, green. It is clear. I like, I'm searching for more and I'm not really getting more, but what I'm getting is really good, if that makes sense. Now, sometimes... You seem integrated. Okay, it's evaporating off a little bit now. It is integrated. Now it's now it's becoming more, more peaty in the glass. What else am I getting? I'm waiting to see if there's any of the plasticine to, coming up, but... I'm not getting that. Mammy, a dust of sulfur, a bang or one. A bit of sulfur? Yeah, maybe. But I'm not getting band aids or hospitals oh. or iodine type of. That is very oily as well. Ooh. Okay, I think we're going to have to go for a sip. I'm going to not dilute the whiskey itself because it's just a little above. Uh, Mid forties, I think. It's not very mm. sweet, friendly. 
and to create this smooth or be burning eyes. Yes. So this is what happens. It's got these like two or three or four kind of waves to it, hasn't it? Because initially you don't taste peat at all. No. You actually taste something that would be more like that, um, like the Glen Lossy or something, like a Speyside lighter, sweeter. And then, then the sort of bitterness and the pepperiness comes up. And then that fades and then you get the ashiness of the peat. And then the finish is this really long kind of tobacco-y leaf, ashy smoke. And a touch of that pepper. That's really good. That was only one sip, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Right, let's see what happens on the second sip. Now, this is one of the ones where the nose doesn't set the expectation too high, but then the palate, it mm-hmm. actually is even better. I, uh, get it uh, oily finish. Thanks very much. Bob, just trying to win a sample. <laughs> yes, good plan. Your name will be going in the hat. Oh, yeah. That's really good. This is one where each sip, the same thing happened yesterday, where each sip gets better and better. It's like it's building on the previous coating, whatever that is. More pepper this time. And more sweetness and more beet. Yeah, more everything. (laughs) But it's the integration which is so good, isn't it? Now I'm getting a dash of fruity bitterness. It's coming up with the surface. And my throat is up. That could be quite old, couldn't it? In fact, let's go to the picture. This is what I had on the picture. Quite a bit going on. And that pepperiness over the top is really nicely contrasting with whatever the little fruity things is going on. What are we going to be doing? Come bear it. Yes or no. <laughs> or no, better or worse. Exactly. Better or worse. It's nigh, but I prefer to taste. Yeah. Um, I think it's right. This is summery. This is Pete Monster, which I like a lot. Oh, it's got the same pepperiness though, hasn't it? This is obviously you can see it's the brown label one. I even the sour. It's actually pretty similar, except this one's twice as good as this one. Well, there's more of more food. I thought about it's more of it's it, very dialed. This tastes younger and younger. simpler. Bad apple. It's like Pete Monster is trying to be this one, mm. but um, th- this one is twice as good. What did you think, better or worse? I think it's better because this one has more food, is more bitter. Oh, you prefer this? Yeah. I'm going the other way. This one is integrated sm- smooth throughout. It's more peppery. I find the flaming heart a little thinner. Oh yeah, it's thinner. And a little lighter weight. I think it's more earthy, more rough. Close. I'm saying this is better. You're saying flaming heart is better. I don't like this game. I think it's good. Better or worse? I think it's much stronger than a very art. It's definitely stronger ABV. Yeah. Better or worse? Better or worse? Oh, the best. Okay. That was Kilhoman. Flaming Heart is here. This one, I still think I'm going top 10. It's close. If it's a 46, it could be some of these. It's 10 or 46. Dark Cove. But I think it's higher. I don't think it is 46. In the 48s then, there's two compass boxes. Could it be Lefroy 18? I think it's to a Gamiga. I think it's not Gamiga. I think... Um, 
I didn't pick up anything that was Lefroy like if it's this one <laughs> I know we really like this it really outperformed as well I got for this one fifty dollars versus what a hundred and fourteen I'm giving it I'm giving it a gold star which makes me think it might be this because I've quite cheap taste <laughs> <laughs> right are we ready for the reveal what's it going to be number 126 is 48 percent it's 18 years old oh is that going to be Lefroy? 117 dollars it is an Isla. It is the Lefroy 18. Wow. Wow. I mean, I did not get a I am pretty shocked by that. Why are you talking about the no Because I was expecting it to taste Lefroy y. I know we got this for a great price at Scotch Whiskey Auctions. I think I paid about. 80 pounds for it but it was anyway it says 117 dollars by the time it was shipped here <clears throat> i know i've seen this in the us for about 300 when i looked at the distillery we did try the 27 year old mm, that was so... and i can see that this is sort of heading in that direction because it's more of the fruit coming up and that one was all pineapple with this really oh, gentle smoke I'm trying to see, does anyone know if this is ex bourbon? It is, I mean, it's ex bourbon. It's ex bourbon batter. It's okay. for 80 years. Wow. Oh, now I'm shaking my mind now. There we go. Mm, not even better than Family Art. Top 10. It's time for top shelf, bottom shelf, deeper side, fill side, in the middle, the new bottle. Is going to be number one hundred and twenty-six, picked by Bruce. Give it that ever, to Bruce. Yes, fireworks for Bruce for getting the guess right. And let's see what we're going to get. <laughs> Big bubbles, no troubles. It looks like a bourbon on the close-up camera, but I don't think it is. Looking at it in real life, I think this can. Oh, and I can see pink. So for wine, Gaia. Is it pink? It's not a bourbon. Do you want to try? Of course. It's very fat. The bubble, the thing, very fat bubble. Looks like a pretty strong one. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. You'll have to wait till Thursday to find out what number 126 is. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's that? Oh. 